Yes, sir. Hey. Hey. Good afternoon. Is it afternoon? 3.35? It sure is. <laughs> sure is. Good afternoon. What's happening? Um, just calling, seeing what's uh, going on with you. Um, well, right now I'm just sitting and running every time it starts raining. <laughs> Coming back out when it stops. But it's yeah. been one of those uh, months where one minute it rains and one minute the sun shines. Yeah, it was like that. Well, actually, yesterday it was all cloudy, but luckily it didn't rain. But yeah. Yesterday. Um, but it's been, I guess it was, uh, we're, um, we're getting a message from... Uh, Nature that uh, summer is over. That's the message. Yeah. 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 Oh. You know who nature is, eh? Nature. Um, I forget. I knew it was a very specific. It was like a coding. Uh, where it has the word "root" in it. Nature. Read the read the first three letters. Nazi. Nazi. Ant. Oh yeah, 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 ant. Yeah. You are ant. <laughs> you are. Uh, <laughs> you are ant. And if right. it's an ant, that means it's uh, the garbage picker. It's a, it cleans up. And, yeah. Uh, now down below comes and steals all the knowledge on the surface and takes it to their vault. Where is their vault? You say. Well, to look for the word ant in what word? Oh, oh. Mantle. Oh, mantle. Oh, man, mantle. Uh. Above them is the plate and the table. That's where Abel went to hide, was under the table. The table. And why do you eat off a plate? Because everything in a plate or below a plate is dead. Everything you eat is dead. Whether they be plants, like an ant, or meat you eat it's all linked together George. all linked that's one of the that's probably one of the um uh, uh what's the word um uh, maxims uh, nah. that you learn with this stuff you learn that everything's not as as it seems, um, as it appears to be, and it's, everything is linked. And there is, and then you, later on, you learn. For me, you learn about life after death. You learn yeah. about those important questions. Like that. I saw. Um, there's a post I called. I don't know if Jenny told you I, I called her. The other day, the, um, yeah. I didn't. I, she was trying to tell me about. Um, she was telling me. I'm trying to think of the subject she was talking. About. But we had. It was for some reason. Maybe it was Bell Canada or my phone or, the, or her phone. Like I, she sounded really low. It was hard, difficult to, to get it clear. Yeah. She often goes that way, and it's the phone company. Yeah. And apparently her phone's, like, new. Yeah. Not that old, so. No. You know, the phone company is, um, 
Verizon is their phone company. Oh yes, yeah, you're telling me that. Yeah, I Verizon is basically Bell. I because I remember yeah. when Verizon used to be AT and T. Yeah. Did the, the split. They're all just one company with different names in different places. Mm-hmm. But in fact, they are one company. Electricity is one company throughout the world. Telephone is one company throughout the world. Post office is one company throughout the world. It's all one. Remember, we were talking about that last time. One. Yeah. On the dollar bill. One. One. And it's who you trust in God is one. <laughs> <laughs> Not God, but one. Er, uh. er in French gives you the ownership over the UN. One. One. Er. Huh. Yeah. So. Today is, um, oh, by the way, Dana's on. She just called in. Yeah. Hey, Glenn. Hi. How's it going? All right. All right. Good. So, right. today's... We're, uh, we're surviving. Yes. All of us. All of us surviving. We're here. Oh. I'm sitting in a screened-in area to limit the flies and earlier in the year mosquitoes and stuff like that. And I've left a little slot open at the bottom of the entry. And Big Mama has just walked in, didn't ask permission, just jumped on my lap and is sitting there listening. <laughs> Agent, he's an agent. Yeah. So tell me about what you two guys are up to. Are you uh, winning or <laughs> in in uh, in reversal or in advance or? Uh, winning. Uh... Uh, that implies there's something to win. What's there to win? Is there a prize? What's the prize? There's a prize. Always is a prize. If the boss is an ant, he's stolen everything. <laughs> and from that, he will give you a prize. The mantle is his home. Yeah. Oh. The space between the table, plate, and mantle is the moho discontinuity. Why is it called a discontinuity? Because if you send a signal, sound signal, down into the earth, it travels at a fixed speed this signal does, unless it comes across the moho discontinuity where it goes faster, which says there's nothing there to stop. In the moho discontinuity is where their public spaces are, but the bosses are the ants, and the ants live in the mantle. What, what a you wonderful do? world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Would you, so would you describe it like um, that they got, you know, Neanderthalers and Amazonians, they all live in like their own sections or? Yeah. You, you think they have a bump into each other or? Well, uh, if there is a threat of a nuclear attack, 
where do school teachers tell the kids to hide? Under the table. Why would the teacher say go under the table? Well, that's because Abel went under the table. He didn't die. He went into hiding. That's apparently Cain, what... Cain is the builder. Abel is the secret hiding director of the building. You think Abel actually was a real person? It's all code. Nothing was a person. Noah is not called no way in French for nothing because there is no way he could have done anything that they described he did. All he was was a representative of a concept. Concept being genetic engineering sometimes goes awry, goes too far in the wrong direction and has to be stopped. And that's what it's all about. When do you know that it has happened? You know it when you start building something and none of your neighbors ask what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, you went too far. Just like here. Why do the neighbors never ask? There's only two reasons. One is they already know. Another reason is they don't want to know. Well, that's the motto, right? To see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Yeah. Yeah. Continue doing what you're doing. Forget the possibility that what you're doing is wrong. If you haven't heard it on the radio or on TV, it can't be true. But nobody understands the concept of the coding structure. It starts with a guy called Adam. And A and E are interchangeable, and Adam is Medi. He's the medium who sits between the undercover people and the people who don't know. Yeah, and that's was... why they call media medium. Sorry about that. Okay. I get carried away. <laughs> <laughs> It's a long story, you know, you can't, <laughs> one yeah. thing is connected to so many yeah. things. But I was thinking uh, that word, um, I don't, uh, it's just like a eureka moment the other day, the word general, right? Yeah. And I always knew it had the word gene in it, but then I realized, because, you know, we have attorney general, surgeon general. Yeah. So I, I, I'm assuming in my mind, this, this logic, that general... It's supposed when they a general is supposed to affect the whole genome or whole genetic uh, uh, group. Yeah. Right? So like when you have a surgeon general, they their job is to affect that genetic Over, uh, oversee. Oversee, yeah. And you have attorney general. Yeah. Similar job. And I was like, wow, that's. That's 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 very. Um, <laughs> um, you don't become a general on what you learn during your lifetime. You become a general on what is implanted in you. And this year, more than uh, in the years gone by. One of the things you're seeing is a search 
by sport teams for the children of star sportsmen in the past. And they're being put in to play whatever game they're playing, baseball or tennis or what have you. And and they star at the age of 19 and 20, which in in professional sports is basically a learning time until this year. This year, it, you walk straight in, you get a job on third base, and you hit 91 home runs in the home run derby. A 91 is supposed to be 19. Yeah. Uh. A 91 is 25 more home runs in the home run derby than last year. And everybody, every year for the last 20 years, have been trying to increase the number of home runs by one. And in walks this guy, and he hits 20 more. At the age of 19, I think he's 20 now. So what they're saying is like this is a new uh, new type of change in genes, new, new genes. Genetic has specialized. Okay? What they've learned along the way is how to implant the star player at the level he completed his professionalism down at the bottom where he would have started his learning process. If you look at baseball, for example, uh, home runs have increased by five to date on every team. How can that happen? Well, somebody did some polishing of the baseball. <laughs> <laughs> or the players know more about hitting before they even walk out on the field. And that's what's happening in hockey. If you look at hockey this coming season, you'll see a major change, and that's a drop in the age of the players. So maybe 40 has become 20, just when you're about to get there. (laughs) Well, if you do that, right, because as far as I know, 40, that's the the natural way of going about things. So if they're speeding it up to 20, it does not mean there's going to be some unintended consequences. Yeah. Don't, don't forget the natural way is nat. You are an ant. That's mm-hmm. nature. Nature. But the nature. G is silent. Where's the G at? What's going on with the G? With the who? The G. The letter that. G? Yeah. It's silent in that. So where did it? It's it's it's. it's where like is the letter but, G in nature? Oh, I, I, a gnat. I thought you were mentioning the word gnat. Gnat. No. 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 Nature. Nature is an ant. Or a lot of ants. If you live in the Moho discontinuity for a period of... Uh, 25, 26,000 years, and you had a 
quote unquote natural highway underground, what would you do down there in 25,000 years? You would look to expand the highway either by machinery or by slaves. And you would want to be able to pop up at certain locations around the world where you would later have a need to pass on information. I would believe that the markings of those places would be by setting off some kind of explosion underground, which would in turn create a hill above ground. And if you make a hill above ground, you then make sure that your slaves and the on-land controllers of your slaves build their center of control on the hill. Capitol Hill and Parliament Hill being two examples. Yeah. So tunnels underground going anywhere they want. In 25,000 years, you can build a lot of tunnels underground. Especially if you have all the knowledge to start with that was known in 24,000 BC in some kind of storage device. And you could call upon everybody on the planet that you allow birth to to work towards getting results in whatever they've been assigned that will, in fact, set them up for a prize. And, of course, you don't give out prizes unless they give you the information that earned the prize, and you add that to your computer. That way... You not only have everything that was learned in, say, 150,000 years, and now you have a population of not millions but billions, and everything they do that qualifies for a prize, you give it to them in return for what they have come up with, and you add it to your computer, and your computer says, yeah, that fits. Or, no, no, there's a mistake here or there. So I'm going to go back and look at some other evidence. But in the end, your computer is the only place that has all the information in the world. Because you gave out Nobel Prizes. Academy Awards, Olympics. Funny, there's people who, when uh, reporters who won Pulitzer Prizes or whatever, they they win. They, so I think it's Nobel or Pulitzer. And yeah. They come out with uh, news pieces that are just every, everyone can see that it's it's not even it's lies. Yeah, <laughs> it's just not even accurate. But yet these guys have these awards, so maybe that they're awarding for, uh, failure or the, the the willingness to lie. Or... Well, it all depends on what they need. Do they need to lead, or do they need to mislead? Prizes are prizes, don't cost much to make. <laughs> but only they know what's happening. Oh. 
How many journalists have brought stories to their publishers and the publisher looks at it and says, great work, but we don't have the space. We didn't sell enough advertising to add another page. And the thing goes off to the side and nobody sees it. Maybe 75 years later, somebody reads it and it becomes the important thing of the day. Well, the first guy, unfortunately, came too soon. And people would have started asking questions they shouldn't ask. So if you set it aside for 25, 50, or 100 years, then times have changed and the thing may be of some value if it had greater distribution. If you ever go to a newspaper, you'll see by the publisher's desk pile of stories that is not printed, that are not printed. That's why he's the publisher. That's why they give him the big buck. And his word, the word publisher, the yeah. word pub, pub. Yeah. <laughs> but that can't be good. All of these things are linked. And now we have arrived at a time where similar, not the same, but similar to Noah's Ark, the system has gone to its limit in being of value to the ones who are uh, receiving it secretly. And it's time to change direction. But in genetic engineering, you can't change the direction in five minutes by telling somebody to do something which they believe is totally wacko. So you have to do it through time. And in in the years leading up to now, that time would normally be 40 years. And now they're dropping it to 20. What have they changed in the DNA? What have they learned from the lessons of the last 50 years or whatever that has allowed them to say a 20-year-old knows a uh, as much or more about their specialty than a 40-year-old took that time to learn two years ago. But whatever they changed wasn't changed two years ago. It had to be changed 20 years ago when this kid was born. It's the same thing as police, secret police like CIA and people like that. They have knowledge about weapons 20 years before they are introduced to the general population. One example you saw this last week here is the President of the United States held a news conference and pointed to a photograph and said, you see, they are much more advanced, the people who are building this whatever, uh, than they than they claim. And then somebody looked at the picture and said, if, if you track the line of sight of that, it goes back to a satellite that was put there secretly by the military. 
how come they have never told us that they could be so clear in a picture that uh, what used to be a dot representing a foot is now a dot representing a millimeter. So the quality of your photograph is so good that you would think somebody was standing there taking the picture, and yet it was taken from hundreds of miles up in the sky. Uh, now, now that they're admitting now that uh, it's like public, uh, a lot of the public can use it. They can alter video. Like yeah. they can change your face and put someone else's face there. Sure. And have it look like that's the person. Like, yeah. so can you imagine, like, you know, you could, maybe in the past yeah. hundred years, yeah, they could. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are going around now saying you don't want cameras put on telephone poles in the downtown core of a city. Well, where do you think? you would get a better picture from a satellite. How many women sunbathe on the roof? Because they think nobody can see them. The pictures that are taken from satellites are better than the ones that are taken from the roof. Hmm. I'm sure that that's, you know, using all these phones and whatever they, they that's the, the excuse, I guess, they needed to get pictures using. Get us using to talk. <laughs> get us to talk. Get us to talk. Track because you. we don't write anymore, but talking is is much more precise in most cases except science. Uh, so they learn from it. They have, uh, unlike the uh, spies, uh, they don't need readers who listen in and and write down what they heard and send the copy of the tape to somebody who's paying them. They don't need that any anymore. It's all done by technology. Every word I speak is being picked up and fitted into a larger pattern that I never hear, but explains in detail what I said. I'm just trying to, I guess, when you think about, like, the new slaves that will go into outer space, yeah. I guess that technology will be, like, I guess embedded, I guess connected to their eyesight or something, you know, whatever they see, it's immediately coded back to the... Because yeah. whatever, whatever you see... Whatever it is they have... We won't know about it for 20 years. At least 20 years. Used to be 40. <laughs> <laughs> when did you notice they, so that, I, mean, I guess, did that, that, uh, that baseball, would that, did that signal to you that they changed it from 40 to 20? That's what. Yeah, I was listening to, to uh, people uh, on the uh, baseball broadcast uh, that uh, there were people coming up in the minors 
that uh, were amazing. In every sport, and the common denominator was genetics. Their parent, male or female, mm-hmm. had been a superstar. And they always became superstars by being different from the stars. Swinging at balls that a star would never think about because it was close to the ground and something like that when it was pitched. And they knew that it would be a ball. But the batters today swing at anything and are getting more success than the stars ever got in the past, their own parents. They have a guy on the Blue Jay team. I'm trying to think of his name. Uh, um, who who has hit hits in almost every game he's played for the Blue Jays, and he's 20 years old. They have a guy who's hit longer home runs than anybody who's ever played. And they got a whole raft of them coming up. Ottawa Senators came in last place in hockey last year. And they're considered to be a contender this year. Why? Because they took all their stars and traded them. And they were going after specific people in the minors. And now they've got them all assembled, and there's about five players for every position. There always are some things that you don't know about, and one of them is is nerves. And some people could do things in front of a large crowd um, in in minor league baseball, which amounted to about 2,000 people, just can't do the same thing in a major league crowd of 20 or 25,000 people because they get nervous. So you get four or five people who could do the same thing and if one of them is not doing it, you stick the other one in. If you go to the end of this season in baseball, you'll find that almost every category has jumped in its numbers of uh, whether they be hits or balls or or home runs or whatever, everything is going to be higher. And that's only year one for these guys. All stars, the same as stars, will grow better over the next five years, only five years earlier. That's genetic engineering, and that's why the media will not cover anything I do. Because I know what is in the pile next to the publisher that didn't get printed. The reasoning behind it all is you don't die. You're just disentangled from your DNA and your electromagnetic self moves on. 
can't be seen, but it's still there, can be sent in and be sitting on the seat in your bedroom, and you don't know they're there. They can be attending a meeting of the police, and the police don't know they're there. Now, if they kept all that information to themselves, as they have in the past, that's not a problem for the people who are genetically inclined and still alive. But if you have somebody leaking the information on order from their boss, a court, and you start putting pieces together in our living world, then you get to know what's really going on. I had a a guy uh, give me a taxi ride and, and pulled out a recording device and recorded what I had to say. And then, six months later, denied that had ever happened. <laughs> hmm. And and under normal circumstances, his word against mine, that's it. But he didn't realize there was a guy sitting in the back seat And the information was deposited in the court at the same time as it was happening. And then given to their investigators who then passed it on to me. And so why did he do that and why did he lie about it? That's our next investigation. I remember you bringing that up before. Yeah. (laughs) It's it's insulting to your intelligence, but it's... Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> hey, hey, Jerd. Take mm-hmm. take one little example. What is known as the smartest bird? The crow. No, that second. No, that second. Yeah, not the crow is is not the smartest. Oh, so, um. What the raven was. Smart like an ant? No, small like a. a pet. Smart like an owl. Really? The owl was the smartest bird. I did not know that. Yeah. Smart wow. like an owl. That that that's basically in the English language something that says. Someone who's learned everything. Oh, like wise, wise like an owl. Wise, wise like an owl. Yeah. Yeah. Wise potato chips. Yeah. Now, when you go to university and get a doctor's degree, uh, you are said to have gone into higher education. Now, if you wanted to be wise like an owl, why would you go higher when the word owl spells low, L-O-W? You should be going down, not up. 
in order to learn more. Why do you think they call it higher education is to mislead you into thinking that you are going to be wise like an owl by going in the opposite direction? Have you noticed that owls, they they just, they can, it seems like they can just turn their head completely upside down. Exactly. Yes, they view the world upside down. They don't move except for the head. It's the brain that's gathering information, not the body. Uh, <laughs> and they, they are a bird of prey. They're predators. Yep. So the guys in charge of predators, they uh but that's first just thing a... first thing I saw here on the farm when I was looking around uh at the beginning was a, an owl sitting on a branch and as I was walking towards the back, you guys walked there too but probably don't remember exactly where. Uh and there is a branch that ran across the pathway about 10 feet off the ground. And I stopped, and there was an owl looking at me. And I stayed motionless for maybe two or three minutes, and and he kept his eyes fixed on me. And then I said, well, I got to go and do something. So I can't <laughs> stay here all day so I walked and I walked under the branch and passed on the other side and he never moved except his head followed me mm-hmm. and they go after um, mice and I guess rats as well right yeah they go after the bureaucrats <laughs> yeah well, they feed off the beer press, as it say. And the the other thing run... I saw when when I walked in the back was a rabbit. And twice I came across the rabbit, and twice he had put the wrong suit on. The rabbit was wearing uh, white in summer and brown in winter which, of course, made him a lot more visible than the intent of color. Why? Why? That's... Why would a rabbit have mistaken his clothing, his, his fur, in season? Not just a few days, season, the opposite. Have you lived underground by your electromagnetic heat? <laughs> coming off the ground. Something like that. He would only come out certain times, I would imagine, and got it backwards. That is a good question. Yeah, we call him a hare, not a rabbit. We always call them rabbits, but we have people. them all over here. Yeah. But I I noticed with them what they'll do, like like say like a squirrel, right? A squirrel will see me. Usually, most of the time, they'll just run away and as fast as possible. But a mm-hmm. rabbit, like they'll run away, but they'll only run away a distance where they can see, still keep their eye on you, but they won't. Yeah. Like, usually yeah. won't. <laughs> It's, they're different. They um, they sit back on their haunches and watch you. Yeah, they they really watch. Yeah. yeah. Thought that was interesting. Well, according to the cell, this farm is different, and what that means, I don't know for sure yet. You don't know? I don't know. 
I bet you they the answer is staying they is scared. All I know is what they tell me to do next. And what I have they a feeling you know. Do, I have a feeling so, you know, but you just not aware because you've been sitting right in the middle of the farm for. Yeah, well, uh, I'm sure that I know uh, because after 700 lives, you learn certain things. <laughs> But you're made to forget. Every time you show up, you have to go through a process of learning. Mm -hmm. But this is the first time in my life had I lived 699 times coming, I wouldn't have known that there was going to be a group of people who would come in this life and share information with me by telling me I had earned it. Well, I may, I may have earned something or other, but why is it they want me to spread the word? I haven't learned yet anything else but the possibility of destruction based on the word cat. Cataclysmic and catastrophic. And they want me to get the material to build a containment for a hundred cats And then they allow my wife, who's obviously important to this cat business more than I was, uh, and, and they kidnap her and put her thousands of miles away so that she can only communicate by telephone and they can record our conversation where that wouldn't always be possible if she were here. Same with you guys. (laughs) You are placed where you are because that's important. Where you are is close enough to flushing meadow. You know what the word glen means in English? Meadow. Meadow. The meadows. Meadow. Mm-hmm. Sit in your meadow and wait till we tell you. There's a couple of towns named after you here. You got Glen Cove and Yeah. Yeah, that's where all the Middle. rich people live. North Shore. Glenhead. Yeah. Glenhead. The rich yeah. area. The funniest thing that I've discovered is that hospital general hospital they built in Montreal. A billion dollar structure opened, I think, last year or the year before in in uh, West End, Montreal. And Montreal is a French city. There may be 20% of the people there who are Anglophones by birth, but 80% are French. And yet they named the hospital Glen. Why? Well, there's no Allen, Glenn. Yeah. Jen. Why would a hospital be called a meadow? Is that a place to relax? (laughs) 
That's another good question. Yeah. <laughs> you got all these good questions, Glenn. <laughs> I keep asking myself the same thing every day. <laughs> Well, I, first I'd look at what a metal is and what its function is in, in the bigger picture in nature and stuff. Well, in, in here, the uh, uh, the place beyond where we have been basically working uh, in the middle is like a little park. And that's called the meadow. You go there and sit and, and contemplate and read and and uh, oh. feel nature in its original sense. Feel nature. But it says here, it says, uh, a meadow is a feeding ground of fish as cod. A meadow is a tract of grassland, either in its natural state or used as pasture or for growing hay. And it's a yep. low-level tract of land under grass and generally mown annually or off, oftener for hay, also a piece of grassland in general, whether used for the raising of hay or as pasture land. It all depends on how close the trees are as to why it would be used for hay. Because if it's small and the trees uh, block the path, people looking for hay look for a much bigger field than a meadow. They live all around me. And the word uh, meadow, it has um, that word mead in it. Yeah. It's like I think that's what they use uh, for alcohol. That's yeah. What they call. Link to that. And O. O. It's got E A in it. It's got O W. So it's a place for your brain to work out the coding structure mm -hmm. peacefully away from traffic. Mm -hmm. I had put the picnic table back there, and uh, I'd go I'd go sit at the picnic table and spread my readings across cross-reference thing. Quiet. Quietness. Hay is the basis. Grass is the basis of food. Most of the uh, beef you have has Eating grass. Are you able to concentrate when there is noise in the background? Yeah. 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 That's yeah. something I was practicing today. Thinking yeah. about in in mind, I was thinking about that Buddhist uh, Japanese Zen, the Zen model. Yeah. I, I, I just felt it could be beneficial learning to concentrate with noise. And, not, and I don't just mean always like physical noise, just in life in general, you know. Just yeah. Yeah. Have a little focus. But if you only heard how many times the phone rings in a day that I don't answer, <laughs> <laughs> I don't recognize the number, and the cell is just tracking increasing those calls. Um, and where I'm sitting now, uh, I am um, 40 feet from the gate at the front. With all the traffic going by on the road at about 60 feet. And most of the traffic on the road here is 
working on on farm stuff where they're pulling things and pushing things and and uh, tugging wagons and heavy tractors and everything so it's on and off noise most of the hours between nine and four. Some days busier than others. It all depends, you know, what they're cultivating. And it seems that most of the cultivation around here is corn, which is then shipped to uh, booze factories in Montreal. becomes part of people's cocktails before supper. Weekends is motorcycles. Seems like they're in the business as well, but they go to the U.S. and need to take the bridge there uh, at the end of these two highways. Uh, 18 and uh, uh, 416. 416 is the expressway where all the cops are watching. And this one, you get a cop a day or two on, on a busy day. So they, uh, they all, motorcycle gangs, use this road to get to the bridge. And of course, People who claim to be guards of uh, the border are really criminals who say, okay, this truck has it, so you guys go over here and get it. And most of them are Iranian guards whose parents came to Canada 20 years ago. 30 years ago. Uh, that that, that reminded me exactly what you were talking about earlier. Yeah. The media. It's right there. Yeah. It's the medium. It's that medium between the other yeah. side and where you're at. The people who know. Yeah. The yeah. people who under. don't know. Well, Iran was was basically uh, media as a the name as a capital. So yeah, it's right in the middle. Tells people what to do. Huh. Yeah. Turkey on one side and the Istan countries on the other. You know, Afghanistan, Uzbekistan, Pakistan. All those. Nazi countries. And what have we got in the last 20 years? We took all the Nazis out of Germany and brought them to Canada. Put them on the border. Yeah. <laughs> they had all migrated from Iran to Germany as a midway place. Now we got them. And the media keeps telling us how terrific Canada is. Yeah. Over here, you don't even hear in the states. I, mean, yeah. I don't even. I barely hear about Canada, and I'm sure yeah. Canada hears all the time about the U.S. Yeah. They all, There's something all wrong the people with that. in Canada think everybody in the world thinks about Canada every day as the greatest place on earth. Yeah. yeah. Only in our world will they talk about something bad and sell it to you as something good. Yeah. <laughs> it's our world we live in. See, see how nice our tennis player was when she beat Serena Williams for the World Cup or whatever. Mm. The U.S. Open. And... and she went over and, and consoled her. That's the image they want to show about Canadians. 
Mm-hmm. And she turned around and said to the crowd, I know you all wanted Serena to win, and I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. Bullshit. El Toro Poo Poo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's... And all the Canadians go play hockey in the States, and all of the Americans come and play basketball in Canada. Mm-hmm. You so know, when the Canadian I... team wins, it's an American who scores. <laughs> when the Stanley Cup is won by the U.S., it's the Canadian who scored the point. Yeah. Well, in general, I, I think Canadians, when I was in Canada, I heard a lot of people complain they were not happy with just the way things were, government, yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. You know. That's what you hear on the ground when I when I was there at least. Well, that was, the the, you know. the media um, has a role to play, a major role to play, in how people respond. And and I noticed that um, people who don't like the opinion of their media change. And there's a media for everybody. Most of them uh, must have, in the past, represented Republicans and Democrats. Uh, In Canada, liberals and conservatives. And now there's a breakdown at the base, and, and third parties are inching their way in, like the Green Party, you know. Uh, where they can cut across all of the party lines of conservatives, liberals, or Republicans, Democrats. And they know change is about to come. But guess who leads the Green Party in Canada? An American woman. What? Yeah. For a long time, she was the only person in the party. Are people, are people happy about that? They don't even talk about it in the media. <laughs> so that most of the people wouldn't know. But she just married a Canadian man, so... She got to and, live in Canada. Yeah, she lives in British Columbia. And I guess she'd be in her 50s now, as far as age is concerned. So she got to marry a Canadian man and live in Canada, but Jenny gets to, has to stay in California. Exactly. Because they give the right story, and I don't give the right story. I tell people the media is not on your side. <laughs> no matter which side you're on, they're not on yeah. your side. Yeah. They are on their side, uh-huh. and they tell you in three or four different ways how to be on their side. And one of the ways to be on their side is only repeat what they say. Yep, that's what you see, you know, at least yeah. what I see in the media. If if a celebrity, right, say a movie yeah. star wants to have them, it has a movie and want to promote their movie, they'll get on and just repeat what the media says, their yeah. narrative. Yep. And cause some controversy or something like that, or, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it'll just and and that's how it'll. You know, whenever I see a guest come on, I it's like most of the guests like they on Fox or something, a contributor yeah. or whatever. No matter what the 
the news person is saying, it's like the other person, the guest they have will always agree. Yeah. They'll always say, yeah, I agree. 100%. I agree. Like, I guess that's, that's not normal. <laughs> I mean, not in my opinion. So, but that's, you know, they, these guys are programmed, you know, no matter what, the media is always going to be on their side. No matter, like, now, these days, we're approaching 2020, and people are seeing on a much larger basis that a lot of people, a lot more people are seeing that the media is not on their side, you know. Yeah. And the media, no, they're still, still, they're going to, even though they, they lie today, they get caught lying, they're going to lie tomorrow again. Yeah. Even though they get caught. And yeah. they're, they're, when they get caught in a lie, what they'll do is they'll never apologize. Yeah. Ever. They'll never run back. You know? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you know. It's... So that that basically leads to a conclusion. And, and the conclusion is it can't be fixed. It can't. It has to be destroyed and rebuilt. However, the people who always do the rebuilding are not on the people's side. Exactly. <laughs> so it, it's just going around in a circle. Royals one minute, bureaucrats the next. After bureaucrats, you'll get another gang, you know, entrepreneurs or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Trump did say that. He said, he said, by the time he goes to New York, he was talking about the New York Times. He goes, they're, you know, they're just awful. They never, they don't tell the truth. They just lie. And he said, by the time I'm done with my time, or my next time. Yeah. They'll be out of business. They won't be. Maybe you can interpret that as implying that he would get rid of them. Yeah. But what are you, what are you going to replace them with? Because I see the people that he's replacing. Because he just recently said that he would have his own. They're going to introduce his own social network to bypass the social media and the media. So he can communicate directly with his followers, but all that those people they just re- agree with everything he says. They're yeah. just following him. <laughs> so the, I mean, the people out there follow him because he's saying something different. Yeah. However, he's had to fire most of the people on oh, his yeah. staff. <laughs> <laughs> Because the people on his staff don't believe what he's saying, and and they're there because they want to try and knock him off. Exactly. Yeah. They're yeah. not there because they believe in him. They just want an opportunity to replace him. Yeah, I mean, it's this. Rec- there's always I'm hearing just the other day another spy. They have a spy in the administration. They had a lady who was leaking. They, that's why it's a theory. It's a it's a not a theory. It's somebody suggested that the reason why Trump said something he said something crazy about uh, nuking hurricanes, which I don't you know. But people the same, are, same thing as nuking meteorites. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Instead of one coming at you, you got a thousand coming at you. And people, a, 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 a journalist um, suggested that he said that just to see who would leak it yeah. in his circle. But, you know, you he, he, talking about these people in the system, they have, they say something that it means something to different people. Because I, now I think about it when you say nuking hur- hurricanes. I'm yeah. reading in your old post, hurricane, and that has... That would carry level. the nuclear power all over the country. 
any event, gentlemen, it's almost 5 o'clock, and I have a job to do, and that's feed cat. Okay. So thank nice. you for your call. Uh-huh. Hope you have a great day. You yes, know. sir. I'll... We'll talk to you again soon. Okay. Uh, bye, Glenn. Bye for now. Bye, bye. Danny. All right. All right. Bye.